chances at love. Joyce Maynard does. She is the best-selling author of Labor Day, a book that has now been made into a movie. It's the story of a single mom and a man with a questionable past whose lives intertwine over a long weekend. Take a look. Joyce Maynard, good morning. Nice good to morning, see you. Matt. I'm going to talk about the storyline in a second, but is it hard to watch your baby in some ways grow up and leave the house I've and turn into a movie? I've done it with three children, so that was good practice. No, you have to let it go, but I, I let this one go into very good hands. Jason Reitman is the director, up in the air, Juno, um, and he did an extraordinary job with this. I, I'm that rare writer who's happy with the movie. He made a great You spent a lot of time on the set, and you look at these two amazing actors, Kate Winslet and, and Josh Brolin take over these roles, were they what you had in you mind? Know, I didn't spend time on the set. Beyond the first day, I came to teach Josh Brolin how to make a pie. That it was, was it? Crucial, sexy, the sexiest pie-making scene ever. I, I came the first day and the last, and then I really felt I need to get out of the way. But yes, I take credit for the, the pie that you're going to see up in that scene. All right, That's we'll get pie. to that in a second. The, the storyline does ask the viewers, the readers in the first case, now the viewers, to take a little bit of a leap of faith. That, that this woman, this single mom could fall for this guy who is how could she fall for Josh Brolin no it's not Josh Brolin <laughs> it is a guy who's escaped from prison That's right. all right yeah. and you wrote you said something recently you said I don't write stories about what happened I write stories about what could happen what could happen but, you know, I, and I think that's, that's what, what we all want a little bit from a book and certainly from a movie is to be taken on a journey with people who have had hard knocks, big losses, and they, the world didn't go the way it was supposed to for them. And they're each in their own way a prisoner. She in her house and he was a prisoner in prison. Um, and they find each other. And I should say they find each other in the context of her family life with her son. The story is told through the eyes of her 13-year-old. Which raises a question, that's that leap of faith also. A lot of people yes. say, you think you're going to tell me that a single mom would allow an ex-convict to come into the house with her son? And I'm going to dare you, go to this movie and see if it, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't buy it. You know, it's, it's not, this, this woman um, actually has proven right in many ways. You know, she, she follows her instinct and um, she's not without fear. I'm not going to give away what happens. This is a scary situation. He's kidnapping her, but he opens the car door for her, as he does. It's an odd juxtaposition. <laughs> Joyce Maynard. Joyce, thanks very much. It's great it's a, to see it's you. It's a pleasure. I hope you're there at the, uh, at, at the movies this weekend. Yeah, it comes out. It, it opens up on Friday in theaters nationwide. And we're back in a moment. This is today on NBC. It was good. That was great.